Harry and Meghan's huge blow from Beckham's amid speculation they are leading separate lives. Prince Harry and Meghan have raised eyebrows regarding the state of their marriage in recent months as fans are speculating whether they have finally caused a divide between one another after years of feuding with other people. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have found themselves back in the headlines after their multiple solo appearances in recent months which has led to increased speculation that the former royal couple are leading separate lives. The couple, who relocated to Montecito, California in 2020 to start a new life away from the monarchy, have found themselves in their local newspaper due to their numerous public appearances without one another and the disappearance of Meghan's engagement ring yet again. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The Montecito Journal reported on rumors about Harry and Meghan leading increasingly separate lives. Their comment comes after the Duke of Sussex, 40, spent at least a fortnight away from Meghan and their two kids, Archie and Lilibet, while making public appearances in New York, London, and Southern Africa. The former Suits actress, 43, also attended a star-studded gala for the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, on her own as well as a solo visit to a girls' leadership organization on International Day of the Girl, noticeably without her engagement ring. The speculation of their marriage problems is another huge blow for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as they continue to deal with their ongoing feud with the royal family. Harry and Meghan made the decision to step down from their senior royal duties in 2020 and have not held back in throwing firm members under the bus since. Tensions grew particularly high following the release of Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries in 2022 with the Duke's tell-all memoir Spare coming just weeks later in January 2023. This was already a particularly tough time for the monarchy given the late Queen Elizabeth's death in September 2022 and it's been reported that some members of the royal family are refusing to forgive the Sussexes for this. This is not the only famous divide Harry and Meghan have caused in recent years as the record previously reported the Sussexes had fallen out with their pals David and Victoria Beckham following years of friendship. Royal author Tom Bowen previously claimed that the Sussexes became addicted to reading negative press coverage about themselves and grew wary that some of their closest friends may be leaking stories about their lives. Keen to find out the culprits, Meghan allegedly suspected Victoria, and Prince Harry phoned up David Beckham to discuss these accusations. The Beckhams, who attended the Sussexes' wedding in 2019, were allegedly left outraged, leaving their relationship with the royal couple in tatters. The following year after Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries, Posh and Bex released their own highly successful Netflix series, called Beckham with the public giving them a very different reaction to what the Sussexes received. Although Harry and Meghan's show did very well for viewing figures, it consequently saw their US favorability absolutely tank, and in only a matter of weeks. Within just a month of its release in December 2022, Harry fell 45 points in terms of public opinion in the US by January 2023 and Meghan tumbled 36 points, according to polling done by Redfield and Wilson for Newsweek. Meanwhile, after the release of Beckham, David has gained half a million social media followers and there is hugely renewed global interest in the pair. Google Trends data shows that the release of the sporting icons, series has seen a massive spike in associated searches, far outstripping the comparatively minor jump in search interest that accompanied the Harry and Meghan release. According to Rotten Tomatoes, Beckham has an average audience score of 98%, Harry and Meghan's is 19%. These stats come as a source recently told People magazine that the Duke and Duchess are focusing on different things and they said it's clear a twin track is evolving. The insider added, the Duke and Duchess have now hit their stride as individuals not just as a couple. The Duke appears focused on his patronage work, and the Duchess focused on her entrepreneurial track. Constant speculation about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's marriage getting the better of her. Meghan Markle's triumphant return to the red carpet and Prince Harry's successful solo appearances at global events have been making headlines. 
however, a source has revealed to OK. That the Duchess of Sussex is feeling the strain of their new dynamic. The royal couple haven't been seen together in public for over a month as 40-year-old Harry has travelled across three continents without his wife and kids by his side. While rumours of them living almost separate lives will be something they are no doubt used to by now, a source says the recent week's pressure is starting to affect Meghan, 43. She has really felt the strain in recent weeks, and with all the speculation surrounding her and Harry and their marriage, they claimed. They haven't done themselves any favors by doing so many separate events but this is what they have decided to do as it works best for them at the moment as a couple and they both feel they can shine at events that are close to their hearts. The source continued, but it does upset her that, while Harry was getting praised for all of his appearances, she is getting criticized for what she says, what she wears etc. and it brings back hurtful memories of when she was a royal. Meghan's glamorous walk onto the red carpet at an Los Angeles Children's Hospital gala last month, dressed in a fiery red low-cut gown with her tousled hair hanging loose, appeared to send a very clear message, the Hollywood star was back. A few days later, she stepped out again, exuding elegance in chic white trousers paired with a blue buttoned shirt. The occasion was the International Day of the Girl Child, celebrated at Girl Incorporated in Greater Santa Barbara. There, the nonprofit unveiled its new initiative, Social Media U, designed to help teenage girls build a positive relationship with technology while tackling issues like body image and mental health. This program received support from Meghan and Harry's Archual Foundation. However, when one of the charity's founders mentioned to an American magazine that Meghan had talked about being one of the most bullied people in the world, it inadvertently reignited the bullying controversy surrounding the Duchess. Following the publication, a source told the New York Post that Meghan never claimed to be the most bullied person globally, but rather talked about her experience with online bullying. A confidant of the former Suits star disclosed that the recent events have left her feeling unfairly targeted. She felt very bullied and scrutinized back when she was a working royal, and she feels the bullying is returning, they said. She wants people to remember how tough she has had it and is trying to get the public back on side. And it's hard to hear the constant speculation about her marriage and her and Harry living separate lives, because as much as she tries to ignore it, sometimes it gets the better of her. Prince Harry's royal return claims torn apart as reconciliation is awfully long way off. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.